Can you hear it? The wind blowing the dust across the M Namibian desert? No? Oh, okay, fine. Tonight's movie is Dust Devil by Richard Stanley. And you could kind of say, I'm just a touch of a fangirl. I really love this movie. Dust Devil was filmed in 1992, and the first time I saw it, I was up way too late watching USA up all night. And that showed some really interesting movies that you wouldn't really see anywhere else. For some reason they were showing the 87 minute Miramax Films version of Dust Devil, which Richard Stanley wasn't aware existed. It wasn't until it was being shown at a film festival that he found out that this had been recut by the film studio from his 120 minute version to an 87 minute wide release film. But that's okay. I saw it and it made me want to see Dust Devil again. So it stuck in my mind. It was the middle of the night and I'm watching this really scary movie that's set in South Africa and Namibia. Fast forward. I get married. I have Kane in my life, and it comes up one night, he's never seen Dust Devil. I'm like, oh no, oh no, I married somebody who's never seen Dust Devil. So we search around and I finally find a copy of it for rent at Hollywood Video, which shut down overnight and I almost got to keep it. I literally returned it the day before they closed. Ah, oh, that kills me every time. But, funny story is, we're watching it. It's the middle of the night. We're getting to the climax of the movie, and all of a sudden, our power goes out. Right as the dust devil, the walking man, is standing in front of this huge inferno. And both he and I just hold our breath and look at each other because we're waiting for the power to come back on. And the power doesn't come back on and we're like, oh my gosh, what time is it? It's like two in the morning. Why is our power out? So we look outside and we see a bunch of flashing lights and they're not like emergency lights. They're those yellow flashing lights. We wander down the block towards the little substation and we run into this guy who is repairing it. And apparently one of the uh, transmitters just snapped. All of the equipment was World War II era and it had just snapped and caught fire and he showed up and put the fire out and replaced the part. All in the middle of the night in Capitol Hill. But it was really freaky and the entire neighborhood was out of power and just hearing that unsettling quiet and at the climax of the movie right when the demon is running after your main character oh my gosh the power could not have gone out at a better time and it cemented this movie in Kane's mind and heart as well as one of the best horror movies ever made I warned you I am a fangirl I freaking love this movie and I've seen three different cuts of it so I'm dedicated onward so this movie stars Robert John Burke, who plays the Dust Devil, or the Walking Man, if you will. And he is famous for movies such as... Robocop 3! Seriously, it's sad. He's a really good actor, but when you look through his, his list, that is the one you're probably going to know him from, besides Dust Devil. His co-star, Wendy Robinson, is played by Chelsea Field, who is known as Tila 
in Masters of the Universe. She was also in Commando, but I was kind of starstruck when I saw that it was Tila. Yes, that movie's amazing! And there's pewing noises because the actors, they couldn't get them to stop making pewing noises while they were filming. Pew! 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 Just watch it. We'll do a video on that one all by itself. Next you have Zakes Moke. Zakes Moke plays Ben Murkoby, and he is the detective who is investigating a bunch of murders. Murder, murder, murder. And he is the most famous actor in the movie. He was in Serpent in the Rainbow, which is amazing. Another horror movie you should see. This month, this would be the best month to go watch it. It's on Shudder. I know that it's on Shudder, and I believe that it is on Netflix this month. But if you have Shudder, it is up there because I was looking at it and I was like, oh, it's been ages since I've seen that. Finally, we get to Wendy's husband, Mark Robinson, who's played by Rufus Soup. Rufus Swart. He's famous for the gore movies. That's all I'm gonna say about that. Google him. Not safe for work. Not safe for children. Richard Stanley, the movie's director, is famous for making music videos for a lovely atmospheric goth band named The Fields of the Nephilim. He's also famous for Hardware, a science fiction horror movie that has guest stars of Iggy Pop, Lemmy, and Carl McCoy from Fields of the Nephilim. I wonder how he got him to be in that movie. Hmm. So what's Dust Devil about? Dust Devil is about a primordial sorcerer who feeds off the souls of those who are willing to give up their lives. They no longer have the will to live, and so he gives them a moment of pure pleasure, pure enjoyment, and then takes their soul. And that is how he remains immortal, because he is the dust devil. He is the walking man, the walking man who haunts your nightmares. The walking man is an interesting figure. He is a modern mythologic figure who shows up in your dreams or in the case of High Plains Drifter he shows up in your town and is secretly somebody who passed away who has come back for revenge but that's a different kind of walking man either way they all wear long coats and they typically have a hat that covers part of their face in shadows so you can't ever really see what they're thinking Wendy is an interesting character because she's left her husband and she's wandering trying to find herself as a woman and trying to find herself as a person and she encounters the dust devil and the dust devil thinks that she's going to be his next meal his next soul to be taken and he goes through the start of some of the ritual which is he finds her, figures out what she needs, and then he gives her a night of carnal pleasure. And she kind of realizes what's going to happen, and she starts fighting against the Dust Devil. If you don't want to give up your soul to the Dust Devil, you don't have to. And that is the plot of this movie. Some interesting facts about Richard Stanley and Dust Devil. So the original 35mm cut of the short film that eventually became Dust Devil was lost. Richard Stanley was filming a documentary in Afghanistan when the Afghan war broke out and his significant other at the time had him declared dead because he was missing while he crossed the mountains uh, for several months and all of his possessions were sold off including that original print so it's out there somewhere in the ether but nobody knows where it is he also used a version of it for one of the fields of the nephilim videos and was kind of 
a little bit of the inspiration for the opening of hardware because you also see the walking man in the beginning of that video so it, it's interesting when you watch clips of all of these to see how it developed into the movie being an independent film they didn't have a whole lot of a budget so there are some interesting things that actually happened on set at the beginning of the movie you see this great scene where they're filming a car from overhead and this was actually the last thing that was filmed and the car ran out of gas and stopped working while they were filming so they just kind of had to go with it at that point and with what they had another interesting thing that happened some weird stuff started to happen on set in South Africa and Namibia it's illegal to have uncut diamonds for many many reasons and one night on set they had wandered behind the shed where they kept all of their set pieces and they saw all this stuff sparkling in the dirt and it turned out to be uncut diamonds and so one of the members of their crew had collected these and was like ooh ooh I'm rich oh but no one can know I can ever ha that I have these ooh I'm so rich but no one can ever know I have these and was getting really paranoid and weird about it it's pretty funny when you watch the DVD extras and you see him talking about this another thing is one day they woke up and the big knife that the walking man carries with him was missing and they searched all over the set for it and there's a moth a moth yeah. and they searched all over set for it they found the knife and it was covered in blood and the thing with that is it wasn't set blood it turned out that it was really blood somebody had used this knife for a bad thing so they were like shoot what should we do and some of them were like we should probably call the police and the rest of them were like oh that's a really expensive knife and the police will take it and we can't afford another one they didn't call the police they cleaned the knife off and they told nobody until the featurettes on the DVD extras and Richard Stanley was telling the story <laughs> I think it's pretty funny if you don't watch any other horror movie this season go watch Dust Devil it's on Netflix and you can probably find it on in a bunch of your other streaming systems it's way more widely available now and if you're local Scarecrow Video has it in their Psychorama room which is where they have all of their psychedelic horror and psychedelic films it is worth watching it's worth owning I own it I've watched it I will watch it again I've written a song about it with our band called Dust Devil It's wind. It's supposed to be wind. Laser beams. Laser beams. Do 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 do